So, cheers to my successful partner in crime. Okay, we should get a photo here. Uh, All right, guys. So we have successfully did it. Look at the rock. Your room is so nervous. Ah, uh, you didn't even dare. To. <laughs> That's the one leading. I did dare. <laughs> what Yuru and I were talking about is how we had to traverse through this massive bush just to get to the Sigiriya rock opening. We found a clear path. And now we're out here in our final days of Sri Lanka. If you haven't seen our other adventures in Sri Lanka, be sure to check out our channel. Today on Logan Lee Adventures. In this video, part 2 of our Cultural Triangle Expedition, we are in Sigiriya, known for its spellbinding plains and dynamic ancient civilizations left in well-preserved ruins. We even saw a team of archaeologists still working away in this heat of the sun. Sigiriya is our must-see before we head to Anurapura. <laughs> Is it going to be in the video? Oh. So many monkeys sitting in a tree. Jack's not on But they're just running around the temple. Oh, the ancient room. The road around it looks like cool. Yeah. Cool moat around. Had a bit of down, it's right? Yeah, I think this is the moat that surrounds the village. So it's a Sagria rock. It's pretty cool. Right also known as Lion's Rock. Which is so unreal that that rock used to have a whole royal palace on top of it, and the king picked this location because it's high enough for the best defense. And below are these wonderful gardens. Hello. It looks like you. Yeah, right? <laughs> So we're at this Sri Lankan buffet for dinner and it's a little secret nook in the city. I don't know if it's so secret but it's definitely secluded and harder to find than most places but um, the GPS weren't so great so we had our driver call the restaurant owner and explain how to get there but look at all these great food. Looks so yummy, can't wait to dig in. The room's plate already looks so nice. Priyamali Gadara is a family restaurant down on a skinny dirt road where we sat in front of a quiet rice pad field, hearing nothing but crickets while we ate these open fire iron pot meals served on our leaves. Endless curries, fresh fish, savory bites, salads. The more we ate, the more the owner wanted to bring us more dishes. The next day, we were up and early to Anu Radhapura, the last place in Sri Lanka we're exploring before we fly out to our next destination. What makes this place so unique to the other stops in our cultural triangle or any visit to any ancient ruins are the frequent ceremonies happening that vibrates throughout these temples. <laughs> Stupas as tall as skyscrapers and crumbling archaeological wonders that has ruled over Sri Lanka for centuries still stand while the locals use them daily. Today, we feel like more of observers watching how people clasp their hands together, shaking them in prayers, how their white robes glimmer in the sun, how families gather in pockets around the monuments like they've always had for generations. The reason for everyone you can see that's wearing white is because we're here during a Sunday and I'm just assuming that it's because of you know, the Sunday morning prayers, but it's really cool. 
he was not really informed. <laughs> he's quite black. Okay. But I know. <laughs> no. Oh, no. no. This Mike morning. Will, Sunday, I will, will wear white. No, that is not true. But this morning, Irene was like, Do you want to take off my shirt for me? And I was like, Yeah, sure. Let's not wear one of your ugly graphic tees that you always wear. So I chose a plain, simple tee for him that just happened to be white. And now he's soaking it all in. He tries to get back at the things that were ugly. <laughs> They're quite ugly. <laughs> he is trying it again. <laughs> trying to win it by just going hard in. I don't do that on Sundays. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Hey monkey. Ah, it's not the Oh my gosh, you're rude. This one has a little baby uh, attached to it. Don't come to me. I know. I don't want it to get attached to me. So yeah, how okay. cute! Like my combine the two. Mm. Mm. This is so cute. Mm. Mm. Nice yummy. Mm. Okay, now off to explore the last of the day. The cultural triangle. That's me. I'm seeing a theme with all the reclining Buddhas. Buddha likes to recline. I like to recline. Number seven for the stupa, so they do those things in oh. High up here overlooking the country, you can't help but feel invincible to be young and just out in the world discovering what it means for ourselves. This is freedom. And we made it to the top of the stupa. This is the whole view. And it's just green. You can kind of see the hills. To end our day and spend the last night in Sri Lanka, we're back at our villa, indulging for a swim in the pool to break this 40 degree heat. Is it cold? Um. And now I join in. Bye guys. I hope you enjoyed this adventure through Sri Lanka as much as we did. Give it a like and leave a comment below. Tonight we fly out to a different country so subscribe to our channel for the next video and see where we're up to next.